Hi everyone, welcome to the Cypress training. In today's video, we will learn about Cypress and its features. So today's video is very important because if you are moving to Cypress, you should understand what are the key things which makes it unique. Let's say you are working in a project or you're giving an interview. So you can be asked why you chose Cypress. So it's not like directly you're choosing Cypress and start writing test cases. No, you should know what are the key points which makes it unique? What are the key points which are there in Cyprus, which will be helpful for you to decide like we should move with Cyprus, okay? Cyprus is an open source Node.js based test automation tool. It is built on top of Mocha.js. It has addressed all the key pain points which any developer in QA faces while performing an execution. So it's not only built for QA, but it's also built for developers because it supports all kinds of testing unit testing, integration testing, component testing, and end-to-end -end testing. So there are many features which make it really unique. One of them is it's, it runs directly inside the browser, which makes it easier to test your application as a whole and debug any issues which may arise during the execution. Another great feature is it's real-time reloading, which means every time when you make a change for, to your test case, it will automatically reload and rerun the test case, which will save a lot of time and which will help you in catching the bugs at early stage. Let's say you're an automation engineer and being an automation engineer, we know it's not every time our test case passes in the first time. There can be scenarios where there can be issues in your code due to locator or some syntax issue or maybe there is some exception on the web. So you have to do some changes in your code. So in that case, you will make the changes and with Cypress, the automatically real-time reloading will happen. So it will save a lot of time. With Cypress, you can test web and API both. So it's a single tool which will be helpful for performing end-to-end -end testing. Cypress has inbuilt features like screenshots and videos. So by default, if any test case fails, Cypress takes screenshots and videos. And these screenshots and videos later on you can attach in the reporting as well. It's very helpful. Another feature is folder structure. So we know being an automation engineer, folder structure is very important. We should properly maintain a folder for, let's say you have to write reusable codes, you have to write uh, test data. So there should be a proper folder structure for that. So Cypress provides a very wonderful folder structure. So it has a different folder for test data. It has a folder for, for writing your reusable test case commands and uh, where you can perform end-to-end -end testing. So all those folders is really uh, properly defined in Cypress. It has inbuilt logic for retry. So if you want to configure retry, you just have to mention the nth time. If you want, let's say you're testing a login form and you want your login form test case to be running twice. So you can configure that in the configuration file and then your test case will be running twice in case if there is an issue in the first time execution. Uh, with Cypress, you can test on different browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Electron, Edge, and WebKit. It has great support for the assertions. So if you see the official website of Cypress, which is cypress.io, this is the official website. You see, it has great documentation and great community support. So let's see the official website, what they have mentioned. So write, run, and debug like a pro. So like we discussed, running any application directly in the browser is easier with Cypress. You can see end-to-end -end test cases running in the real time as, as you develop your applications. So it's very easy to install and write your first test case in Cypress. You just, you don't have to worry about installing multiple libraries or dependencies. It's just one command which you have to run and you can write your first test case. We will see in upcoming videos how to do setup and start writing first test cases. Debug failure directly in the browser because it runs inside the browser so you can easily debug. So this is, they have attached screenshots also. You can eliminate flaky test with ease. 
so it interacts with your application in the same way as your users so you can discover bugs with before users too so you can easily discover bugs it has great support and great integration support with other ci cd tool like github action jenkins gitlab okay uh, it has a cloud platform which is cypress dashboard where you can run your test case and view the execution of your test case with screenshot and video you can also configure to see the flaky test case let's say one of your test case is passing two times and maybe failing two times so you can configure in that dashboard to see flaky test cases you can also configure in dashboard if you want to perform end-to-end -end automation process let's say you want to run you want to raise a bug in jira in case your test case fail so we can also configure that we'll learn about dashboard in upcoming videos so they have mentioned all the points uh, on the official website you can go through all this in detail and learn more about it but uh, main features we have discussed so over here they have mentioned 4.6 million weekly download which is really amazing 42k plus github stars so we let's go to documentation part as well we'll see the documentation what they have written so why cypress it's a next generation front-end tool which is built for modern web modern web let's say your web is built on framework like angular js so cypress is really a great choice for that uh, it makes it possible to set up tests write tests run tests and debug tests it's mostly compared to selenium because selenium is one of the leading automation tools in the industry but it's totally different from selenium in both fundamentally and in architecture wise we'll see selenium uh, cypress architecture in next video we'll learn more about the architecture of cypress with cypress is built for qas and developers so we discuss like we can perform all kind of testing using cypress end-to-end -end component integration and unit so they have mentioned more details about the cypress and what's the mission what is the ecosystem what are the features so most of the features we discuss and they have provided some more features you can go through it so yeah we discuss about cypress and its features what makes it unique and why you can choose cypress over other tools why is it loved by developers in qas in next video we will learn about cypress architecture 